with the lead mic. We are going to do a slight deviation from what we began, um, the culture of God's people. Of course, I thought that is what I'll be teaching tonight. But the Lord gave me an instruction to the contrary. On Friday night, I mean on Friday morning, sorry, I was, I was in prayer in the morning. And while in that prayer, the Lord walked up to me in the prayer and took me on a trance. And I practically saw the Lord Jesus. And he gave me some instruction. And that is why he said I should change what I was to teach this now. Um, I felt it was meant to be a personal thing, but... Um, can say that he wants to do something different tonight. And I want to really plea with you to um, give your rapt attention in this service because going by what the Lord told me now, just anything can happen. So when he walked to me in, in my prayer and then took me on a trance, and then he began to speak to me that I want you to make me real. Let my people know that I am a person and I want to be practical in their lives. Now, I'm not talking about I had a dream. I was in prayer, I was seated up, and then I saw that while in that meditative prayer, the Lord came and then began to tell me, a lot of my people do not know me as a person that really wants to be involved with everything they do as a person that stands by. And then he gave me demonstrations. And he said, I said in the book of John that I am the way, the truth, and the life. Many have known me as the way. They've known me as the truth but they've not really encountered me as a life. And so, he gave me instruction for further study. And that will be the basis upon which I'll be talking tonight. I'd like you to join me in the book of Galatians chapter. First, let's do Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1. Because what is said to me in that vision on Friday was supposed to be, I presume, for my own personal spiritual journey with him. I have not seen, I don't see him every day. I think I've only seen the Lord twice in my spiritual journey and that will only be the third time. But as we are to do this meeting, the Lord said to me, stop what you wanted to teach, and this is what I wanted to do. So this is meant to be an encounter meeting. Some of you, as a result of this meeting, there will be strange impartation that will come upon you. 
some of you, the Lord will open your spiritual portal to some new dimensions. And so what I'm going to do tonight as instructor is that I'll teach you a little and then I'll release, release you to pray. And I can stop at any point he asks me to stop. But please, for your own um, benefits, in your own interest, I'd like you to follow with your spirit. Those of you who are nursing mothers, if where you are seated will distract you, I will encourage you to change location. Make sure that your spirit is attuned. You are, you are following me. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Bring it up a little bit. Make sure that your spirit is in tune. This is not so much of a teaching service as much as an impartation service. And some of you, as I will be speaking, the spirit of the Lord will be taking yourself on a journey from the inside such that by the time we move to the second phase, uh, as we pray and worship, your spirit man will be on fire. Romans chapter 1. Lord, I want to see you. I want to see your face. I want to walk. Touch your grace so I can live your days. I want to see you. Can you sing it like you mean it? Choir. Oh, Lord, I want to see you. Go ahead, go ahead. Lord, I want to see your face. I want to know your ways. Lord, I want to touch your grace so I can live your days. I want to see you. Can you make that song the cry of your heart? I want to see you. To see you, I want to see you. I want to see your face. I want to know your ways, Lord. I want to touch your grace so I can live your days. I want to see you. Like you learn in all the much less love and beauty and the swan. Nothing in this world can satisfy. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, you're the cup that won the job. Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? You are much less love and beauty and less world. Nothing in this world can satisfy. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, you are that God. Your presence, your presence is heaven, heaven to me. Oh. Romans chapter one. Romans chapter one. From verse 1, Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God. 
which he had promised afore by his prophets in the holy scriptures concerning his son Jesus Christ our Lord concerning his son Jesus Christ our own Lord who was made of the seed of David according to the flesh and declared to be the son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. Paul the apostle said this gospel there is an element of it that is about the son of God that has two expressions as the son of man and the son of God and he said as the son of man he was made the seed of David as the son of man that is according to the flesh his identity in human terms with reference to humanity it was made the seed of David but it was made the son of God the dimension that revealed him as the son of God was by power or with power but according to the spirit so the spirit is the dimension in which the son of God it is power Anybody can be sick and still recover. You can lose money, lose anything. Once a man is dead, that's the end. But by the operation of this power, it was brought back from dead and brought to life. That's why we talk about the resurrection power. He said, by this resurrection power, According to the Spirit, it was declared the Son of God. And he said, This same Jesus, who is the Son of God, is our own Lord. He is the one who is meant to control our own lives, he is meant to be our own master. Our relationship with him is what, what turns us to become children of God. And based on the fact that he is our Lord, it is the intention of God the Father to make many sons of God through him. So as he is in us, we are also transformed to become sons of God. Such that he will be in us as a partner living with us to run the race of life. No wonder he said to his disciples, he said, in this world you will have tribulations. He said, but be of good cheers. I have overcome the world. So go and preach the gospel. He said, I am with you till the end of age. 
So in other words, there is a person, there is a personality called Jesus, the son of the living God, who once walked the face of the earth as a human being, went everywhere he was doing good. He died and rose again, but not with the natural body, but a spiritual one. And he is alive forevermore to be with us. And he says, I will live in you and I will be with you. So this Jesus. to do good to make things happen for the benefit of mankind that's his specialty every time he appeared strange things happen and in his own words he said if any man believes in me he shall not die even though he is dead there is something about me that brings him back to life. So he is the miracle worker. He is the Lord of creation. He is master in charge of the elemental forces of the earth. He is made the Lord of of the heavens and the earth. That is his commander. And everything is at his disposal. This Lord was made the Lord of all things. For it pleased God the Father. The Almighty. To put everything under his control. He was given a name. An authority, supremacy that is above every other name. That at the mention of his name, at the invocation of his personality, every knee must bow. Every problem must be subdued. At the invocation of his personality, once he is invoked, he comes on the scene. And it's your curito, sir. Jordan, a real bad say. A rema to neighbor, a kiri shore. Is the one that the sea saw and fled. Jordan saw him, Jordan parted. Because of whiz. He is Lord. You are God all by yourself. Oh, oh you, you are, are God, God all by yourself. You are God all by yourself. Oh, you, you are God all by yourself. 
fumuiva Apesione Fumuiva I worship you For you are God of yourself He controls all things by his power. There is no situation that is above him. It is by power that he rules. That's why the Bible says he was affirmed the son of God. By power, it was affirmed, it was confirmed as the Son of God by power as he was raised from the dead through the Spirit. Now, it is the desire of God that anyone who believes in Him. To believe in him means to have a relationship with him. To believe in him is to have your heart so open that you say, who this Jesus is, is what I agree is. Whosoever believes in him. He didn't say the pastors that believe in him. He didn't say the evangelists that believe in him. He didn't say the fivefold ministers that believe in him. He said, whosoever believes in him. Whosoever. To them he gives power. To them he gives power. To become.
not the religious Christ. I mean the living Christ because he's alive. Until he is revealed in you, there are dimensions of destiny that you cannot fulfill. And so when we begin the journey, he is introduced to us as the way. And we must follow the three levels of his introduction. He is introduced to us as the way. The only way to the Father. No, you can't have any relationship with the Father except by him and through him. Then you accept him as your savior. As the only way to the Father. Then when you come in, there is another level of introduction. And he is introduced to you as the truth. The principles that should govern your life. The realities that you should familiarize yourself with. So it's introduced as the truth. But you need to know him as the life. The personality, the power and the energy that powers the functionality of all that has to do with God. It is the life of God. And in that revelation on Friday, the Lord said to me, I want my people to start knowing me as a person. So that when you pray, you are not praying to Jesus the truth. You might be praying the truth, but you're actually connecting with a person. You know that he's alive. You know that it's not just up there in the sky. But it's also physically present. You know that when you face issues, there is someone that is beside you that you go through the issues together and it helps you to solve the issues while you are going through it together. He is not an absentee personality. It's a personality that is real. All right, Lord. All right. So tonight, much of what will be happening here will be you drawing near to him that he will reveal some dimensions of himself and that it will be real to you. When we get into worship now, some of you will feel the heaviness of his presence like a blanket covering you. Some of you will feel a cloud on your head. Whichever way, the Lord will walk and move in our midst tonight. And the whole essence of that is not to give you an emotional experience. But it's just to help you know that a person is in our midst. And this person is not just going to be in the service and go back. Is omnipresence that it can go home with you, with me, and with everybody. And that's what he wants to do. 
He said, I want to become more real to my people. So that they don't just see me. You see, if Jesus is not real to you, Christianity will become burden. Coming to church every Sunday will become ritual. There is a dimension of him you must lay hold on. That helps you to know that he's alive. I, I don't need to see him because he's declared the son of God by the spirit. Invisible. But he is alive. He is there. As he was talking to me on Friday night, Friday morning, you know, I, I, I just, I couldn't but start crying. I was crying for my own, even for myself. I was apologizing. I said, Lord, I don't know why I've not taken you this serious to these depths. Because he showed me, come pastor. He showed me a practicality of someone who is here to help you. But you are focused on other direction. And you claim to be calling him to help you. But he's very present to help. And because you don't understand, because you really don't know that he's there. You kept looking in the wrong direction for help. So he said... I want people to know me that we are in this together. When you receive me, you receive a journey partner. The fact that you can't see him does not mean he's not there. He's ever present. And listen, the presence of problems, challenges, does not diminish him. Sometimes, he allows problems to be there so that you can watch how mighty this person that is with you is. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Don't let me be angry with you. I ask you to be alert. Please don't spoil the service for me. That's the instruction I gave you. Be alert. If Naya, please give it back up for me, please, in case. You do mighty things. You, you do glorious things. You're, You're a faithful, faithful God. God. Awesome, awesome is your name. Now, he just wants to be there. But his power is diminished. His power is reduced to inefficiency when you cannot recognize him by faith. When you cannot believe that he is there with you to help you. There is nothing you go through that he doesn't want to go through with you so that it is you and him. Some of us feel, but I've prayed about it. Nothing is happening yet. The question is, are you really, really sure you understand what prayer is? Praying about things means you are discussing with the one who can help you. And that discussion must be done with a heart that is convinced and persuaded that he is for they that come to God must know that he is and not only is he alive he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him when the depth of your heart recognizes that Jesus is not just a religious leader he is the Lord of heavens and the earth. And he has chosen 
to come stay with you and run live with you so that you are not alone. Can you increase that keyboard a little? will be open to see you. Spirit of the Lord, you're welcome. Touch men. Reveal Jesus tonight. <laughs> Reveal Jesus tonight. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Spirit of the Father. consciousness of your daughters and sons to a higher plane and higher harem of spiritual sensitivity. Open our eyes. you are flowing with the waters of the spirit. The Holy Spirit is already at work. Just make sure you are flowing. Avoid every form of distraction. Let 
Katolo Shakate Yahe. Someone has been praying for some time before now, and I just see gates of higher dimensions open to you now. You've been praying in the spirit for some encounters. It's like your prayer of knocking had just been answered. Just go ahead and draw in. Jesus here tonight. My Lord. My Lord. Hey, Lele Menosa. Lele Lele Nonia Nanaya. Please press into the Lord tonight. Sing to him tonight. In anana mani akatola badaya. Le atata ya katana anana mani. Someone is watching us online right now. I sense the Lord is standing just beside you. You're watching us online now. Yeah. You feel that, that sensation of praying a little more in the Holy Ghost. Go ahead and do so. That your praying in tongues is stirred up by the presence that surrounds you. Hey, 
You and 
you go ahead and tell the Lord Jesus reveal a greater dimension of yourself to me and in me Holy Ghost, I want to know you better than I knew you. The world. Can you go ahead and talk Holy to me? Ghost, you and I Lord, I want to know you in a different way. Holy Ghost, Lord, let there you be a clearer I revelation. The world. Jesus, Holy Ghost, I want to be clearer to you me. And I will change the world. I want your revelation to be better, clearer to me than what it used to be. I want your revelation to come clearer to me, Lord. I want to go past religious knowledge of you. As you have said you will do in this service tonight, do in me give me a deeper revelation take me past the veil take me past the outer courts take me straight to the holies of holies fresh, deeper convictions in me. Lord, touch me in a unique way tonight that there will be deeper conviction, a clearer revelation of you. That's my prayer tonight. Lord, I stretch into you. I'm stretching into you. Take me to the deeper waters. Take me to the deeper waters. to the realm of power Nano Shahade Kadosha take me out of the surface take me out of the shallow waters I want to feel you, Lord. Till there is only you. Till there is only you. Help me. Leno Shadane Adada Mandola de Andele Lebosha Radabare Anosia. Let all 
keyboard is playing. I like you to talk to God in understanding. You can intersperse it. We're praying in tongues. But I like you to talk to the Lord in a depth that you have not done before. I like you to have this moment as a personal moment with the Lord. I don't know what your heart desires in God. I don't know what dimensions you want to press to in the Lord. And I don't know what the issues of your life may be. Now talk to the Lord as a very present personality. Talk to him like you are sure that he is actually listening to you. If there are burdens, go ahead and roll them on him and discuss them with him.
nothing else can satisfy me. You are the river that will run dry. Satisfy me, only you can satisfy. Satisfy myself, only you can satisfy. Sorry. 